Welcome to, I guess, <clears throat> this might be my first live of 2022, I don't even know. These last 10 days have been absolutely just bonkers. Um, so with everything going on, I don't know if you guys are aware, uh, but basically in the last few weeks, maybe even last month, we got some information um, from our office and from different uh, real estate sources uh, about the Fed, um, you know, raising the interest rates I believe that they said approximately three times this year, three times next year. So what I've gone out and um, what I've been doing to everyone that's in my database as a way of providing value is to let people know what that actually means for the real estate industry. So um, I don't know if you guys have seen some videos about it. I don't know if you've heard people talking about it, but it does impact greatly um, here over the last week the interest rate has already gone up um, a bit of a percentage here uh, and that I forget exactly what the percent was but basically that added an additional $125 uh, per month to um, people that would have paid $125 less per month last week that's how impactful this is and that wasn't a full point that wasn't something that was um, you know, a massive increase, and we don't know exactly what those increases are. Of course, they're going to look, the, the Fed is going to look over, you know, how much of an increase they can actually do um, with the economy the way it is, with things progressing the way it is, with COVID. There's a lot of variables up in the air, um, but it is something to keep an eye on. So as a buyer, why does this matter to you? Well, as a buyer, when the interest rates go up, then your buying power goes down, Right. So, of course, as time goes on, and if you guys want to know specifically what that means, if you want to be pre-approved, if you'd like to be connected with a lender, a professional loan officer who could tell you how much you, you would qualify for today, you could at least have that in hand. And then in a few months, maybe when you're closer to purchasing something, um, you'll get, we can update that and you'll know what it, you know how that impacted your purchasing power. So it's something to keep an eye on for sellers. So how does this impact you? Well, right now, um, prices it, it, throughout New York, and depending, of course, on the neighborhood, the block, the condition, the property, um, you know, the just those are the main factors. Condition of the property, where it's located, very specific here in New York. Pro, uh, prices have kind of topped out. So it's not, they're not increasing at the same rate they were a year ago or during the height of COVID when people were just overpaying for everything. It's not like that to the same extent. Now there are parts, there are pockets that are still like that, but it's not exactly that way. Queens has, has been, hasn't, hasn't been that way ex except for specific pockets in quite some time. Um, but as interest rates go up and people's buying power goes down, what that will naturally do is it will cap prices off. It will level them off even further than they've been leveled. And at some point, there will be a correction in the market. So prices will have to gradually come down because, number one, the buyer pool will be smaller than it is now. Um, and if you see some of the countermeasures that some of... Um, you know that some of the banking industry has done is that they have enabled higher loan ratios um, right now to kind of expand the buyer pool but then once these interest rates go up that shrinks it back down and then as I was saying prices will level off and then gradually come down so we're not I'm not saying you know raising the alarm I'm not saying that things are collapsing or anything like that but it's something for you to be aware of where if you're thinking about selling within the next 12 months Maybe if if it if fits your particular situation, maybe now is the time to talk to your favorite real estate professional about how real that is for you, what to expect, the process, right? Because not only are you thinking about, oh, within the next 12 months, but even if you were to sell, you were to put your house on the market now, you're looking at an average of three months, three to six months to sell property, um, depending, of course, on location, condition, so on, the local market. But let's say 90 days, within those 90 days, if your buyer, the buyer that made an offer on your house that has an accepted offer that, has, that is under contract, if they are borderline and the interest rates go up, then that buyer would no longer qualify for a mortgage. So it can, it, it can impact a lot of deals moving forward. So that's something that you really need to discuss with your real estate professional to see 
number one, what the chances of that are ta- are happening, um, what you can do to prepare yourself in the meantime, the the benefit of having multiple offers. I was speaking with a colleague the other day of how when you have multiple offers and you select one, let's say you fall into this situation or another situation where the buyer no longer qualifies for the mortgage, when you have backup offers, then you can go back to those buyers and say, hey, listen, this deal fell apart. You know, are you still interested in the property and get them to be the new buyer, right? And it may not impact pricing as much because it's just a matter of supply and demand. So we will see and monitor how the situation continues, but I did want to at least give you an idea of what's coming down the pike, right? So it's that's kind of the 2022 uh, real estate watch that we're on. We're, we're carefully monitoring local the local market within the last six months. We're looking at what the pandemic is doing, how does it impact our showings, how can we safely provide access to properties to our clients. Um, there's a lot, there are different um, requirements now in the industry. There's a lot, a lot of different moving parts, but the main thing that you should be on the lookout for 2022 right now, and that's barring, you know, another tremendous surge or a pandemic that shuts everything down, um, is the the interest rates the interest rates going up and what that how that impacts each side of the transaction whether you're a buyer whether you're a seller the importance of having representation the importance of having a team in place that can help you navigate this type of situation navigate um, you know what happens in this type of market it's kind of weird for me to be able to tell you um, that I started in the business way back you know when these when putting a house on the market right didn't mean selling it you know within hours of it being on the market you actually had to work as a real estate agent to market a property to get it in front of the right audience to get the right buyers that knowledge that uh, experience is going to be critical for you guys moving forward i'm not just saying that because that is you know that that's something I, that i offer it is something that you really need to understand you need people that know how to navigate um, situations, people that are solution driven, people that don't freak out when things happen. They need my, my job as a realtor is to provide information, to provide value, and to provide um, you know a steady hand when it comes to real estate transactions. Right? I can't get all emotional in in a deal and you know add to the dysfunction that may be happening. Right? I have to be the one that guides you in the right direction, what to do. What are the countermeasures? If I don't know what needs to be done, who can we get into contact with that can protect you, right? So having that team in place, having, you know, having appraiser, having inspectors ready, having your attorney ready, all of those things, all of the things that we've been talking about for years really comes into play in a market, in the market that we're heading into, in the market that we're in right now. And um, yeah, just hopefully... This benefits you in some way, shape, or form. And if you guys want more information about the 2022 outlook, I will definitely probably provide a longer video. And as time goes on and I see different things, I will definitely be reporting and giving you an update on everything that's going on. So thank you so much for taking the time out, for giving me your attention. Wishing you and your family and loved ones a happy, healthy, and blessed new year. And uh, always here to help. No matter how small the question, no matter how far off your plans are, I'm here to help you guys out. So the pleasure will always be mine. And don't forget, never too busy for referrals. Even now, it's almost 9 o'clock when I'm recording this. Feel free to hit me up in the DMs, call my office, call my cell. Well, maybe not my cell right now because I'm recording this, but uh, always here for you guys. All right? Thank you so much. Talk to you guys soon.